Minus 1-5. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. So I got a new mic. I, uh... I was playing around with the old Yeti Pro for about two months, and I couldn't get the sound quality where I wanted it to, to be. Uh, my voice has a lot of undertones to it, and the C3 picked those up, although it lost a lot of the bass notes. The Yeti Pro is the opposite. It got a lot of the bass notes, but it couldn't pick up any of the undertones. So I pick up the, picked up the Rodent, uh, the Rode NT USB, and we're going to see whether or not it sounds decent. Let me know uh, in the comments. Other than that, I figured we'd just talk a little bit about the newest game, XCOM 2. Heading there now. Now, if you haven't played XCOM 2, it's exactly like the first one, but These there are a couple make up the of... of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. There are a couple of small differences, and one of them is this Close wonderful now. stealth mode mechanic. Uh, I really appreciate the stealth mode mechanic, and I uh, think it's great. Moving on target location. One of the biggest issues has always been that you have very little control over when the enemy reacts to you. It's a fog of war situation. Menace 1 5, you're near the target position. And basically, the fog of war decides when the enemy attacks, when they respond, what happens. And that's why it's always been so difficult to play in Iron Man mode, because you will inevitably stumble across the enemy uh, on your turn, and they will just instantly activate and rush you, and then your turn ends, and you'll be dead in the next one. That's mitigated a lot by the Not use of, uh, of this new stealth mechanic. Because it's no longer when you spot them, they react. Now it's when they spot you, they react. This means that for playing this game, scouts are absolutely necessary, and you need to specify that they are doing the stealth route. Uh, stealth scouts are incredibly powerful. Uh, they are incredibly perfect for abusing this particular mechanic. There have been a couple of other small changes, but that's really the big one. They removed the, uh, the UFO flyover stuff, and uh, now there's no UFO mechanics aside from you just lose if you get hit by one. So uh, it was interesting to see them try and figure out a better way to do the world map without the annoying USB parts, but unfortunately... A USB. <laughs> UFO parts. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think they succeeded. This game does not feel as compelling as the previous games. There's no more of that just one more day feel that you get out of the originals and the last remake and hell the sims which is unfortunate now i am at the beginning of the game i had forgotten at the beginning of the game you actually can just do this we have multiple targets down <laughs> we're busted oh no they've spotted us <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and see whether or not we have any more enemy spawns in this area. I'm playing in Iron Man mode, so I have to play it real safe. Um, there, there is no no save spamming in Iron Man mode, uh, so you need to need to make sure that you don't accidentally trigger an enemy. And since this is the very first mission, I don't have any scouts that are still you know that are still stealthed. Normally what I would do is I'd just have a scout just run up there and take a look. Um, since there are no uh, are no stealth units on their side yet, that's perfectly viable. On my way. Overwatch. Ricevuto. Mi muovo sull'obiettivo. Oh shit. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or mind control. Wow, that seemed unnaturally loud. I guess we'll see how well the volume control works. No donut for you, you missed. I wish that adjusting sights actually meant something and they actually did have improved sights after that, but it doesn't. Can I hit you? Uh, uh, curse you! 46, 26. Well, let's give it a shot. Chances are not great. Come on, sunglasses. Sunglasses, you suck. Let me guess, you're going to be the sniper. Mancato. Headed there now. Nice. 
Ugh. It doesn't do enough damage to kill him, so there's no point. Yay! Hopefully she's the sniper. Alright, Captain. Let's see what you got. Party. Oh no, my sniper. So as I said, this game doesn't have the same uh, this game doesn't have the same level of compulsion and it has this glitch. So I would hope that they'd fix that sort of thing cuz that's really obnoxious. Either way, XCOM 1 felt like a better game, or at least a more compelling game. Uh, by which I mean the original XCOM remake, not the original yeah, original XCOM. Okay, well now, I might as well start pulling out the ordnance. Try not to blow yourself up. Seriously? Heads down! Oh, his cover's still intact, damn it. Whatever. This is gonna blow up his stuff, though. He's carrying something. No, I guess not. Hmm. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. Oh, curses! Look at that. Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Sure thing. When it comes to planting charges, I am the best. Look at how much training I've gone through. Click. Beep. Don't pretend you weren't even pressing any of those buttons. Have I got one or do I make one? Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. What? Oh, I guess it's because I cleared out all the enemies. Anyway, this is the new mic, and that was XCOM 2. Exciting stuff. Uh, I'm sure that you're very curious as to know which of the characters uh, turned into which class, but since it takes about five minutes to load up the, uh, the scene where they get their promotions, I'm not going to make you wait through that. Have a good one.